Um, today I'm gonna talk about data plotting in Microsoft Excel. So usually when you have data like what we have here in Microsoft Excel in, in, in this table, so you have um, it's a reactor effluent uh, or a product from a reactor that converts A to B and C. So you have here the time concentration of A, concentration B and concentration of C. So usually you cannot feel the um, the change of the concentrations with time and uh, you cannot see the trend uh, easily when you have just the table. So usually we uh, like to uh, plot the data and put them in a graph or a figure so that you can see how they change with time and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so um, um, what I'm gonna show now is uh, like how to plot on Excel, uh, like how um, uh, this is uh, uh, this can be done, and uh, some of the options in Excel that can make the uh, the plot look better and uh, some other options that might be uh, useful for some cases. So first, um, let's take a look on the uh, plots that Excel can do. So uh, if you go to the insert ribbon, you see all these types. You have column, line, pi, bar, and um, if you press on this button, you can see uh, all these types of uh, charts that Excel can uh, plot. And um, I'm not gonna go all through all these types because it will take long time, but it's the same mechanism, uh, like the way you insert uh, the, the chart uh, using any one of these would be the same for the others. So um, the one I use more is the XY scatter, that's why I'll go through uh, or use this type. Anyway, so um, now we have this table and I wanna plot, let's say CA versus time and see how it looks like. So there are two approaches. Uh, one approach is to uh, directly press on this scatter and choose the shape that you like and then you will see that it did nothing, it just put a plot that's or a chart that's empty, it has nothing, even no x, y, axes or anything. So this is because you didn't choose the columns that you want to plot. So uh, in this case it's okay, there is only one step to go, it's just to right click anywhere in this chart and then to choose select data and then it gives you the option to add uh, another series or, or add one series and then let's say the series name is CA and then the x values which are the x axis which is this and the y axis is CA and even before you press ok it plots already what you have and then you can press ok and then ok so um, it's pretty easy and now you have CA versus type let's say you want to plot CB and now I'll show you how to do it the other way so the other way to do this is to uh, highlight the X and Y axes and which are the T and CA so you highlight both and um, when you want to highlight more than one or select more than one column uh, you highlight one and then press control and highlight the other so it uh, it keeps the, the old and the new one anyway so now I, I'm choosing or I chose uh, the time and the CB and I'm gonna do the same step to go to insert and then scatter and choose this so it chooses another uh, column uh, I mean, it, it uh, plots another uh, uh, plot for CB versus time, which is almost the same what we have here. Um, it didn't put the CA here or here because I didn't give the uh, I, I wasn't given the option to choose the series name. Anyway, so um, I'll get rid of this and keep the CA because uh, we just need one plot. So we have now the CA and. Um, uh, we want to see if uh, this plot is uh, good or we need to do some improvements for the plot. Uh, but before this, we uh, want to show that you can put more than one plot on the same graph. So what we did before that we plotted CA in one uh, chart and then we plotted CB in another chart and uh, they're both separate. And sometimes you need to have all your plots on the same chart so you can compare them or have uh, a feeling of uh, comparison between them. So uh, it's pretty easy. You just right click anywhere and then select data and then you can add another one which is now the CB and then you choose the X values which is the time from 0 to 10 and the CB which is this column and as you see it's now plotted on the same graph you can add now cc and you have the same x values and 
you can choose the y values and now we can press ok and then we are done so now you have all the three concentrations on the same plot and um, it, it it took almost no time it's the same time that you took to uh, plot c a uh, it's the same to put the c b and c i can put whatever number of plots you want on the same uh, graph um so is it now done uh, so it's not done uh the point here is that you need to have all the information that you need to know uh, once you look on the graph so you can understand what's going on so if you now don't know that there is this table and this is just a plot of this and you have only this graph then you don't understand that this is concentration and you cannot understand that this is time so um, and you don't know what is the units of this and this so there's something that you need to put on the on each axis to let the one who will see the graph know what's going on so um, when you choose the graph, so you can take a look on the ribbons here, you have the developers, the last one, but when you choose um, the graph, then you find that there are three more ribbons appear here. So the, the first and the last one, the design and format are more about uh, the shape uh, of the graph and the shape of the lines that you have inside. So we're not going to go through this because it's just some uh, cosmetics. We will go to the layout, which is the important one for us. So you have here chart title. If you want a title, if you want to put a title, then you can put something like uh, this. You say that uh, this is uh, concentrations of reactor effluent. So the one who sees the graph, he understands that these are concentrations. Uh, the other thing we need to put here is the axis title. So you have horizontal axis title. And uh, in this case, it's the time. And you need to put the unit, which is uh, hour. And you have vertical axis title. You have different options. You want to rotate it or vertical or horizontal. So the rotated is the best one we like to use. Uh, or the one I like to use, uh, which is the concentration in mole per liter. So now when you take a look on this thing, you see that you have C, A, C, B, C, C, which are concentrations, and you know the units, and you know what's going on here from this uh, title. So it's kind of giving you more information without reading a lot of stuff. Um, one more thing you can uh, do here is to change the numbering if you want. So uh, you can um, show only the data till 1000 because you know that there is nothing more than 1000 mole per liter. So you just want to show the the, uh, the range where you have data. And you can stop it at 6 if you feel that 6 or 7 is the time where there is no more change in concentration that happens so it's up to you you can change whatever you want and you can change the even the number so what you need to do in this case is just right click on whatever you want to change let's say this is this axis and then press format axis and then you have different options you have options related to the numbering which is maximum minimum and stuff which is the thing that we'll do now and you have the number how you want to show the number it's to be uh, just the normal number to has decimal places to put it as scientific or whatever and now the line color and the line style and some other stuff so what we gonna do now is to make the minimum uh, it's so the default he makes the minimum zero and the maximum 12 and usually Microsoft Excel uh, in plotting makes the f the last number here is more than the final number in the table just to I don't know the reason but maybe just to make you uh, know that this is the last number and there is nothing after here because this is all blank so in my case let's say I'll stop at uh, we'll say it's 8 for example and uh, then it's now 8 and then it changes the, 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 the unit to be 0, 1, 2, 3 instead of uh, the, uh, 2, 4, 6 and um, I want to do something similar to the Y axis in this case I don't need to close this window you can just choose the other axis and it will directly go to its options and uh, we said we want to stop at 1000 uh, oops uh, oops uh, 1000 and we want to we want the major unit and it's it's automatically uh, 100 now and um, yeah this, this is almost everything for the axes 
uh, changing and now we press lost so i now choose only the region that i want to uh, see my data in if you want to uh, change it it's okay you press format access and you can put it to 10 which is the maximum time so i have all your data plotted um one more thing we can do is to uh, use what's so called the grid lines uh, which is uh, uh, you have um, um, grid lines in the vertical and horizontal uh, axes so it's now showing the major grid lines in the uh, horizontal uh, axis and now you can show the major grid lines in the uh, vertical axis and in this case it's very useful if you have data that are far from the uh, the x-axis or the y-axis something in here and you want to uh, have a feeling that uh, what's this number close to so it tells you that this is 8 and this is 6 so you know that this is close to 8 and this is close to 6 so it's very useful if you have a big uh, graph and the, your data is far from the axis so it gives you kind of feeling of um, what's going on um, there are some other options here that might not be very uh, useful in this case but this is the main stuff that I want to show now uh, you can use Microsoft Excel to um, fit your data and get equations and get uh, like how well they're fitting to these equations but we will go through this next time and um, just for now i just want to like uh, show that uh, microsoft excel is very good at plotting data and you can put whatever data that you want to put in one graph and you can use the options in excel to make your graph more informative uh thanks